So now let's give the BSA Gold Star 650, the largest single cylinder motorcycle available in India, the beans. We are on the Yamuna Expressway and let's see how fast this thing goes. Of course, I'm not revving it in each gear because this is not a sports bike. We are almost at 5,000 RPM, crossing 110 kilometers per hour. And now we are, I think, in the fifth gear. Yes, fifth gear. No gear indicator here, but we are in the top gear. 120 kmph. There are a little bit of vibes on the pegs as well. But I don't find these vibes to be bothersome. 120 is where the bike is sitting comfortably. Of course, there will be wind blast on this type of a motorcycle. You need to tuck in a little. And I am maintaining 120. That's the good part. It's a peppy machine. Let's go beyond 120. We have hit 140 on the BSA Gold Star 650. 150. I think 150, 155 is the top speed. A little bit of patchwork here. But truly impressed with how fast this machine goes. And the character of the motorcycle. Right now I am on 90 or 100 kmph, around 4000 rpm exact 4000 rpm i should say very comfortable no vibes at all suspension definitely is a little stiff and just throws you off with that patchwork that you just saw what happens if i accelerate this gold star 650 from about 100 110 kmph in the top gear let's see how far this machine can be pushed Tucking in. Cross 140 kmph. The wind blast is getting to me. On an incline, we are creeping towards 160. Too much wind blast, man. 150 is where it's kind of maxing out I think on a better road with less wind blasts we can easily touch 160 also but that zone between 130 to 160 will take its own sweet time the torque curve flattens out at that part of the rev range again going full throttle kmph now yes speedo indicated so that's the max i could push it with the challenging wind blast situation on this expressway right now <laughs> it's 
So guys, here is a Super Meteor 650 that Vishwas is riding, and I am on the BSA Gold Star 650. Let's see how fast both these motorcycles go. This one is the largest single available in India. That's the famous RE twin cylinder engine, which has been embraced by the riding community. Vishwas, let's go, man. Interestingly, both these motorcycles are around 44, 45 bhp mark but the state of tune the twin cylinder setup makes the super meteor 650 a lot more smoother in the feel but that does not mean that the gold star is not a smooth motorcycle it feels rough it has its single cylinder character which by its very nature is a little raspy a little more rough than the twin cylinder obviously but the riding experience that the gold star offer is amazing nevertheless let's shoot and see how fast these motorcycles can go oh he is pulling on the gas riding at about 145 i am at 140 we normally don't do this sort of stuff but let's see the punch on offer with the bsa gold star let's go all out man i hope this is not a pothole yeah overtook the super meteor at 160 kmph and I didn't feel very confident because of the immense wind blast so this should give you an idea of how quick the BSA Good Star 650 can be on the highways I can be at 140 for quite a long duration of time if I am okay to tolerate the wind blast and the mild vibes that creep in but at that point in time, I think Vishwas was giving it the full beans with the throttle open, waiting for the last few ounces of torque coming in. And that's when the Gold Star just overtook him for a fraction of a second. We can try it once more. And let's see how it goes. Quite a bit of distance between the Gold Star and the Super Meteor 650. and downs on the highway not meant for this type of a suspension setup but this time the gold star is gone on is gone on dare i say is gone on i've given it the full throttle man the dragon r is spoiling the sport unable to catch the Super Meteor 650 but still the single is maintaining its own it's just getting too stressful to ride at those speeds so was never in doubt which is the faster bike I think you have your answer but the takeaway from this short clip I think that you should Yet is that the BSA Gold Star 650 is not a slouch on the highway pretty entertaining to ride and kind of a motorcycle that will make your daily riding and highway runs very entertaining fun motorcycle to ride the whole idea of this video was to show you guys and 
actually find out myself as well how fast the PSA can go and the gold star is not disappointing at all this is kind of its limit 140 150 140 50 is what it can touch between 150 to 60 the top band just flattens out and it doesn't accelerate any further the top end just ends at 159 60 kmph so that is it for this video guys i think this should answer all your questions around the high speed riding capabilities of the gold star 650 let me know if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer them i will see you in the next video guys bye bye